filmmaking is like a lot about problem solving and whatnot. What would you say is, a, you know, probably one of the most memorable situations where you've had a problem on set or, you know, any part in the production and you've had to overcome that challenge through, uh, you know, pure tenacity and moxie? Well, on my second feature film called Chasing a Green, which is now called Big Shots, and that one, by the way, has Ryan Hurst, uh, Jeremy London, and William Devane. And Devane was somebody I was honored to direct because he was directed by Sir Alfred Hitchcock in his last film, Family Plot. So for me, that was such an honor. On that film, we were like three weeks into the shoot or so. And then the uh, producer's like, Russ, we got to combine two shoot days into one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I made it work. Uh, you know, uh, basically I thought outside the box, what can we do and all that. The way we made it work is I was thinking about the scenes that we still had to shoot and we were able to use one house uh, for different rooms in the house. Uh, one was a, uh, like a, it, it was like a, a flashback to like the 1980s. Another part of the house was used for the lawyer scene, the Dan Grimaldi scenes. Um, and another part of the house was used as uh, Heather McCombs apartment scene. So, you know, we just used different parts of the house and just <laughs> combined it together. Now with this new film, Staycation, um, the biggest challenge, this is a new challenge, is COVID, dealing with COVID, the COVID restrictions. Right. Um, and when we filmed in November, we filmed at Envision 8 Studios in Burbank. Um, and we did it through the Screen Actors Guild uh, SAG-AFTRA uh, Ultra Low Budget Agreement, uh, which is the minimal level uh, of contract to be able to commercialize the film, because the whole point of this is to sell it. Um, and because we went with the ultra low budget agreement, they were very strict. So we needed a COVID compliance officer. We needed a medic. We needed PPE kits. Uh, that's like sanitizers, hand wipes, uh, you know, N95 masks, um, face shields. Uh, we needed everybody to take a COVID test and of course test negative. And they had to get the results, uh, you know, like a day or two prior uh, to when they're going to be on set. And um, we shot interior in a warehouse, Envision A Studios is a 7,000 square foot um, warehouse. Um, and they, they film stuff like Nickelodeon films and Lifetime movies. So it, it's, a, it's a professional set. Um, but SAG wouldn't give us the clearance, SAG's uh, safety, until we had the proper readings uh, of, of the space, of the 7,000 square foot space, which means I needed to rent. And I'm the head of the production, by the way. So when I say I needed to rent, I mean, I needed to rent, you know. <laughs> um, I needed to rent uh, air filtration units to cover all 7,000 square feet. And that was like 2,500 bucks. Wow. So it, it cost us one sixth of the budget. And basically uh, that's the reason I'm running this now, as you mentioned, this Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign, because it kind of put me in the hole, you know, because of the COVID costs was, were, were extreme. Yeah. Um, and I guess to overcome that, and we did this, we're doing this crowdfunding. Um, we reached 100% halfway into the campaign, which was a 60 day campaign. So we reached it uh, on day 29. And I'm like, okay, this is great. You know, we reached 100%. Um, well, we're kind of a victim of our own success <laughs> because now uh, part of one, one of the perks is a cameo perk. Cameo as in like, you can act in the film, right? You pay 500 <laughs> bucks, you can act in the film. Well, it turns out that that perk was a little bit more popular than we thought. That and these other, you know, acting perks. So if you look on our IMDb page, <laughs> we went from like, I don't know, five actors to 45. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, guess what? We got to film those 40 actors. And so we need uh, for each shoot day, it's like maybe 1500 bucks uh, a day. And that's makeup. And people ask me, why do you need more if you reached 100%? Well, this is the reason. So now the goal is 30000 not 20000 We're at $20,461. 
Um, yes, I am looking right now at the campaign. That's why my eyes are darting down. And uh, we have 13 days left. So it's not that many days left. It's a play on, um, you know, in a good way on uh, another pandemic that's right. happening. How can we take a positive spin on this? Or Yeah, we're going to um, put a positive spin on it. Make it, it more fun. Because I think uh, we all expected a zombie apocalypse to be the end of the world. And we didn't really expect it to just be fun. But, you know, there's lights at the end of the tunnel right now. So this yeah, is one just- of them, right? Yeah, let's just say, um, yeah, this is obviously a worse virus than the COVID virus. It's not what that bad, with. guys. It could have been a zombie <laughs> pandemic, you know. <laughs> well, that, that's uh, sort of what we're dealing with here. How can viewers or people interested in learning more um, find out about your campaign and contribute? So you can go to Indiegogo.com and type in staycation. That's like vacation, but with stay yep. instead of VA. Link should be showing up right now. So magical and, hands of the feature. 